Okay, in this video I will talk about the app Voice Dream Reader and also the difference between the text-to-speech voices in Voice Dream Reader and the Apple Neural Engine voices that you can use in the Kindle app or in Apple Books, for example. So, here we have Voice Dream Reader and if we click on the display you see some controls and so on. And at the top here you see uh, settings for voices and now with the latest version of voice dream reader uh, the app supports uh, the premium voices of Apple iOS text-to-speech voices I can recommend you to use the premium voices because they are a lot better than the normal voices and they are also better than the voices you can buy from Ivona or Acapella. I bought a few voices from Acapella and Ivone, Ivona and they are not worth buying actually. Just stick with the iOS voices, they are as good. But now it also supports premium voices from Apple. But that is not the same as the neural engine voices that uh, iOS supports when using the two finger down from the display and it start talking. That is not the same voices. The premium voices is uh, another voices. They are more neutral without feelings when using them. The neural engine voices that iOS supports too has more feeling to it. They sound more natural, but unfortunately third-party apps like Voice Dream Reader can't use them. But uh, so for example, if I read a book from an American author like this one, I can decide to use uh, uh, an American voice in Voice Dream Reader we have some different here and uh, the Karen voice is an Australian and Matilda voice is an Australian but uh, Jamie is an UK voice and we have Ava that is a US premium voice unfortunately that is the only voice that is from the US that has premium uh, UK has two and Australia has two but the US voices only one. And this Ava premium voice uh, sounds a bit glad, like reading a comedy book or a romance book or something. So if you read a very exciting and suspense book, uh, horror books or so on, the Ava voice is not the best. But let's listen to how Ava sounds in Voice Dream Reader. Just click play. Chapter 16. Aboard the Bitter Harvest Indian Ocean. Mozambique Coast March Reset stayed anchored south of Pemba, Mozambique, for four days, waiting impatiently for the new moon. His journey from Cape Verde had taken him down the western coast of Africa and around the Cape of Good Hope, 96 days at sea. He had risked going ashore for supplies only twice, in Nigeria and Namibia. He treated each like an over-the-beach operation with an offset infiltration to a local village, where he played the part of a wayward traveler stocking up on a few supplies before disappearing as quickly as he had appeared. His maritime skills had matured over the course of his voyage. The bitter harvest had kept her end of the bargain and delivered him safely halfway around the world. He was thankful for the boat's faithful service and felt a bit sad to be scuttling the Hastings' beautiful blue water, voyager that had been his home for so long. But it was time for him to get back on terra firma, with thunderstorms blocking. That was the Ava voice uh, from Apple that you can use in Voice Dream Reader. Uh, so let's listen to the same book with the neural engine voices in the Kindle app instead. Here we have the same book, the same chapter with a neural engine voice loaded to use here. So if I scroll down with two fingers on the display, then the iPad will start reading the book for me with a neural engine voice I have chosen and I've chosen an US voice for this book too. So let's just take two fingers from the top. Chapter 16 aboard the Bitter Harvest Indian Ocean. Mozambique Coast March Reese had stayed anchored south of Pemba, Mozambique, 
For four days, waiting impatiently for the new moon, his journey from Cape Verde had taken him down the western coast of Africa and around the Cape of Good Hope, 96 days at sea. He had risked going ashore for supplies only twice in Nigeria and Namibia. He treated each like an over-the-beach operation with an offset infiltration to a local village, where he played the part of a wayward traveler stocking up on a few supplies before disappearing as quickly as he had appeared. His maritime skills had matured over the course of his voyage. The bitter harvest had kept her end of the bargain and delivered him safely halfway around the world. He was thankful for the boat's faithful service and felt a bit sad to be scuttling the Hastings' beautiful blue water voyager that had been his home for so long, but it was time for him to get back on terra. Firma, with thunderstorms blocking the usually dazzling star... As you hear, the neural engine voice from Apple is a lot more natural, feels like a real human when using it. Uh, and if you wonder how I can do this like over the beach. Uh, so easily that I did there in the Kindle app for iPad, it works also in iPhone. So you can use uh, this method in both iPhone and iPad in the Kindle app and also the Apple Books app. It works great in both apps. Uh, I have other videos on my channel in my books playlist where you can find how to do the settings to have this working. But as you, as I said, you heard the voice. It's more natural, I think, with the neural engine voices. And sadly, uh, apps like Voice Dream Reader can't use the neural engine voices, but they can use the new premium voices now. As I saw here, as you saw here, and listen to the Ava premium voice, for example. So uh, the difference here, you can decide which you think sounds best. But to me, when listening to books at the same time as reading I prefer the neural engine voices in the Kindle app and also because then you have everything in sync with your real Kindle ebook reader so if I use the Kindle app uh, listening to a book at the same time as reading it as I did here then it also syncs everything to my kindle ebook reader so i can read uh, on this when i want to and i can listen to the book at the same time as reading it on my ipad or iphone everything in sync in the kindle app i prefer doing that but sometimes i want to have a book as an audiobook more or less then i use the voice dream reader and now with the premium voices that you heard they are excellent to use as you heard but let's say this is an english book instead a uk book uh, then i prefer to use uh, uh, an english voice like jamie or uh, maybe karen so let's choose Karen and listen to this book. This is a US book though, but let's say that this is an UK book. So play. With thunderstorms blocking the usual big dazzling starlight above, the only light visible was from a handful of structures miles away on the horizon. Using the subdued illumination from the red LEDs on his headlamp, he double checked his bags, packed with clothing and what was left of his gear and cash. Cash opened doors and closed mouths with cash and a bit of luck. Maybe he could get where he was going. Confident he was ready to make a hasty exit. As you heard, it has an English UK accent. So if we choose Jamie, another English voice. It's a, also have some UK dialect. Confident he was ready to make a hasty exit. Reese went below decks and found the throughputs in the bottom of the hull. He'd never sunk a sailboat from the inside before and did his best to remember what they had taught him in the Lovis sailing course he'd taken in the teams years ago. He located the macerate pump and outboard dump handle. As you heard, it hasn't so much feeling, uh, so much. Uh, it's very natural uh, in the way that it's uh, very neutral when reading. But it doesn't have any feelings as uh, the neural engine voices have in the Kindle app or in Apple Books. So if you choose to decide which language voice you should have, you can have different accents uh, on the reading of the book. 
but uh, if you choose again the US version of this uh, you feel you can listen that she has no feeling located the Masary puppet outboard dump handle turned it 90 degrees and opened it to the outside elements he loosened the hose clamp to ensure that the first big wave the yacht hit would free the hose completely which meant the craft would she reading it with a feeling like more glad or happy and uh, sometimes i don't like that because uh, the book is maybe not happy or glad to read then i don't want to have a voice that is happy but it works as an audiobook you can even in fact uh, have it playing in your car for example on your iphone uh, if you have CarPlay, for example, you can start the Voice Dream Reader app by clicking play and then it plays on the standard play controls on your CarPlay in your car. So that works good too. So for example, if we lower the volume a bit so I can talk at the same time. So if I do this, uh, scrolling down here. You see the controls, you can pause, you can play as a normal audiobook, for example, you can jump back and you can jump forward and the jumping is uh, made of what you have for settings here. If you long press down here, you get different options how you want to rewind or forward your book 15 seconds 30 seconds 60 seconds a whole sentence paragraph heading or so on i have 15 seconds but of course you can choose 30 seconds if you want so now i have 15 seconds you can rewind or forward here and it works good so that was a bit the difference and also about the new premium voices. But as I said, the premium voices is not the same as the neural engine voices that you can use with the Kindle app or the Apple Books app by just doing this. Beach operation with an offset infiltration to a local village. So the neural engines uh, voices are still much better because they learn the more you read and they read with a bit more um feeling of what it's reading and it sounds more natural when reading uh, instead of voice dream readers uh, using the premium voices but the premium voices is much better now than before and it works great to use like an audiobook so i actually use this a lot when listening for example in my car or when I want to use uh, AirPods listening to a book instead of reading, just relaxing, maybe even close my eyes when relaxing, then I can use Voice Dream Reader to read a book for me. So uh, you actually don't need real audiobooks if you have Voice Dream Reader because you can use normal ebooks, ePub files as audiobooks with the voice dream reader controls and so on unfortunately voice dream reader doesn't support uh, focus mode apple's focus mode so i can't turn off notifications and so on when reading when i use the kindle app with the neural engine voices or reading normally i can have a focus mode that turns off everything that can distract me and I can concentrate for just reading exactly as I can do on an ebook reader. The focus mode that is built in on an iPhone or an iPad can be used for that. So you can do a focus mode that turns off all the distractions when reading. But unfortunately, Voice Dream Reader developers doesn't support that API, so you, you can't use it with the focus mode. Maybe the Voice Dream Reader developers can uh, watch this video and hear me saying that please add support for Apple Focus Mode. So please like this video. Bye.